We've got Patreon. Finally. It's so long overdue. And we finally got it. We need you to sign up. Do it. Do it. <laughs> For as little as £3 a month, you're going to get 48 hours early access to public episodes. And you're going to get a Patreon exclusive episode every Thursday. We're going to do specials. We're going to do loads. But it all depends on the support we get. So the more of you that sign up, the more content we're going to put out. Get involved. We've been asked for ages and now we're in a position where we can finally do it and we're dead excited. Sign up so we can get rid of Liam's jacket. We'll get him a better one. It's awful, isn't it? It's so I bad. I like the jacket. <laughs> it's so bad. You ah. sign up, we'll get him another one. And <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Give us three pound a month so Liam can have decent clobber. Yeah. <laughs> it says a lot about you. Sign up, do it. We'd really appreciate the support. Links in the description, all that good stuff. You know where to find it. Did you just not have a proper intro? Did you not go, hey, welcome to no, no, your cares. chess podcast? No. Just straight in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Adam, you've been on it twice. Why <laughs> are you only just asking it's us that It's had a rebrand. Now? Oh, yeah, true. It's That's had a true. rebrand. Yeah. I mean, Would you want to start doing that? Exactly the same. I don't know. I just thought it would be easier What's up, guys? Welcome to the yeah. Off Your Chest podcast with me, your I mean, host, you Aaron Wood. You know what I mean? You can just I mean, I was normally. doing it and now you've interrupted. Oh, yeah, you sorry. Fucking no, no, no. What's up, guys? Welcome to the Off Your Chest podcast. Actually, yeah, it sounds unprofessional. Let's just start off. Let's just start off. So what happened to your foot? So I've got a broken um, yeah, my foot, my foot's broken. Broke? No, right. kind of. So, so go, oh, go on. You've it's injured strange. your you foot. You cried about it on social media. I didn't want to see it again. <laughs> I've seen it before. Yeah, yeah. Just fucking. It's very swollen. You're so keen to get your foot out. But it, it doesn't look that swollen to me. The front of it is. It wouldn't. You've got a double club foot. <laughs> yeah, it wouldn't look swollen yeah. to you. I sprained my ankle on my stag do, and uh, one of my mates balked when he saw my okay foot. <laughs> <laughs> because the, the sprained one looked normal because it was wow. that swollen at the ankle. Yeah, and yeah. he saw my normal foot and was going... <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, it's tough. You need to go to hospital. Yeah. It's giving me foot CPR. Oh, there's got to be... There's got to be... I'll, I'll set my foot down. There's got to be... Um, <laughs> he's, keeping it up. he's got to keep it elevated. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Above the hip, um, I love. There's got to be a sketch out there where someone's like goes in for plastic surgery or something for like a, like a nose or like there's a bit fucked, but they're so ugly everywhere else. And he just starts guessing <laughs> what it is they want to do. <laughs> like, super offended. Yeah, I love the idea that you go in with your foot issues and the doctor's like, "Fucking hell, what happened?" He like, "No, it's actually the like foot." <laughs> yeah. it, was, it was upsetting, like. But yeah. How what happened to yours? Uh, guess. Guess. I need to guess what happened to my you foot. Told me, you told us Brazilian so, Jiu-Jitsu. Oh yeah, fair enough. Then. Yeah. So you were spot sparring with someone. Yeah, I was. <laughs> um... <laughs> well, you got to act like we didn't restart the podcast, Adam. Not because you forgot to turn the cameras on. So just yeah, so just like rewind the one it. time that I'm hobbling around the studio and I can't do anything, and the cameras didn't get put on. What did the he, one what time? Did he say? What did he say to me? He told me to sit down, didn't he? And he said he'd do it. Why did no, I say did that? Yeah, despite yeah. being injured. You said it. But it's why did record. I say it? Why? Why did I say it? Because I can't be trusted. And it turns out, <laughs> neither can you. <laughs> so act well, I have now, an excuse. <laughs> I have wow. an excuse. I've got, a, I've got a foot that's... A, um... Yeah, and I've got two of them, mate. Welcome to the fucking dodgy foot club. There's another word I wanted to use, but it's not a public episode that I can't say it. Dodgy what foot club? The dodgy foot club, yeah. All yeah. oh, right. Welcome. Okay, thanks. <laughs> Appreciate it. My, I'm only going to be here for about six to eight weeks, I've heard. So, yeah. I mean, yeah. Then you get to fun. leave. Yeah, I get to, I get to get walk, to walk out. out normally. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. Yeah. Enjoy queuing for roller coasters, you fucking idiot. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I don't have to do that. For the two times a year I go to Alton Towers, I think it's not worth it. <laughs> I'd, draw, I'd, I'd take a lifetime of foot trauma just to not would have you? to queue on the road. Would you, yeah. though? Because I've seen yeah. you walk and it's yeah, it's disappointing. <laughs> what do you mean it's disappointing? I've, I mean, a, a review of how I walk, that's pretty cutting. Have you ever seen him walk? I reckon, despite <laughs> the size differential, I reckon you're still so much faster than him without trying. Faster? Oh, he said fatter then, though. Didn't yeah, he did say fatter. Yeah, I'm definitely fatter. Yeah, he did. Are you on drugs? Maybe. But, yeah, well, he's on paracetamol, paracetamol, ibuprofen. Yeah. I've got a sort of foot of hard stuff. <laughs> um, anyway, become an athlete is the point I'm making. Become an athlete. And uh, and I was uh, rolling, and to use the proper That's terms, what they say, That's yeah. what the Brazilians say. The Brazilians. Um, the Brazilians. Um, <laughs> they say that. They say rolling. And I, I got taken down, and my foot stayed where it was. So I was... <sighs> I, I was I was on the floor and my foot wasn't. Yeah, and it got wow. bent in a in a way that was less than ideal. Did you and shriek? Oh, yeah. oh I was love it? the idea of that. Everyone's uh, rolling. It's all masculine. Fucking mm. testosterone and Aaron's like. Ah! Yeah. I mean, it wasn't quite like that. Uh, I like to think it was a slightly, as, as you know, it was a decibel higher first of all, <laughs> and uh, and the in the uh, the treble was a little. It was a bit more basic. It's when mm-hmm. Tom's mum sees Jerry. <laughs> Get up on the chair. <laughs> so think of who they were. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah I just um, the, it felt like. Like you said, his mum. 
She's a woman, he's a cat. Oh, yeah. Oh, cat mum. <laughs> cat mum. Cat mum. Yeah, probably got an Instagram page. What a loser. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it felt like the whole gym just stopped because they heard like the pop. Oh. Happy, it, mate. it was horrible, you the, know. They had the pop and they heard the scream. No, genuinely, like okay. they, they properly like crunched. Made it the was noise. fucked, yeah. yeah. And Will came over the uh, the coach right away and he was like, what have you done? Like, what's what hurts? And I genuinely said, I don't know because nothing hurt for about a minute. And then like, it was just agony after that. Like I was looking at my foot and I was like, it's not hanging off. It's like, I was looking at my knee. Everything sort of seemed like nothing had swollen yet, obviously. And he said, what, what happened? What's hurt? And I was, I, I was looking at my leg. Like, I don't know. Something's gone wrong, but I don't know what it is. And then slowly it just, the pain started, started creeping out. I was like, yeah, like... it's my foot. That That's yeah, yeah. fucked. Um, and yeah, that was, it was a real bad day for, for old Woody there. I heard that all, a lot of pain is like in your head. Like you. If... No, it was my foot. I mean, like you focus on. Like <laughs> <laughs> That's for physical content. Hell, it's like me uncle at Christmas, though. <laughs> but he's had a few, and he's like, hey, had a few. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, fucking nice one, David. Fucking stay in the other room, will you? <laughs> so much of you. Stay in the other room. Like, you're in your bedroom. Oh, away from the yeah, family. Yeah. Yeah. Who can bought you... him the whiskey? We said no drugs, no alcohol. Can you, can you get off me Switch? <laughs> like, I want to play. <laughs> like, those games, they were mine, technically. <laughs> the Switch has only been out for a certain number of years as well. So I love the idea that it was just gone. He's <laughs> still hiding yeah. in his room. <laughs> I'm trying to play Mario Kart. Will you just fuck off? <laughs> Kissed Uncle walks in. Hey, you're still doing your comedy. <laughs> <laughs> You're still doing your jokes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, funny. I'm going to come to one of them and heckle you. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. That's got to be the worst one, isn't it? When yeah. the family are like, oh, I'll come to your show. Oh, yeah. I'll heckle you. Yeah. You like, got your I kids do, taken and off fucking, you. And I'll let, them, I'll let everyone in this room know some personal shit about you that I've been keeping under, hidden under me. <laughs> <laughs> under I'm going to tell you I was just molested, basically. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm, oh, taxi for the comedian, is it? Yeah, yeah. Why don't you tell everyone why you're not allowed to see your kids? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's just that stare, just like yeah, going yeah. on it massively. They say I'm going to heckle, yeah. I'm like, oh, I'm just going to tell everyone you molested me. <laughs> <laughs> Regardless of whether you did or not. Just, it, it's worth just killing the room. Yeah. Just to make the, Absolutely. I will kill this gig stone dead if it means you'll never I found a hat for a little fundraiser <laughs> 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 I'll uh, take that. Imagine actually getting heckled by family members. I thought you were going to say molested then. <laughs> by family members. Oh, getting molested I'd, I'd by like family that. members though. Imagine. Yeah, imagine getting heckled by them. That would that would really I uh, Have you seen Eric Rushton's special? No. He has to kick heckled? his brother out. Fuck off, really? Genuinely, yeah, brother's on, on the, the special. Front row, yeah, and he has to kick him out of the... And his brother, like, I, I hope Eric doesn't mind me saying this. I've spoke to him since about it. And, like, well, know, he put the special out, so... Yeah, he put the special out. But his brother's very different to Eric. Um, and one of them that just didn't get what was happening and the gravity of it. Like he sold out his hometown club to film a special and his brother brought his mate and they both just got pissed on the front row. And within about 15 minutes of the special starting, he had to get rid of him. And Eric was like, the whole time he was like, people are going to think that's a plant now. And it's the worst part of it. He was like, no, this is just my life. This is just what I've got. Put. But like, <laughs> yeah, people are going to go, oh, it's his brother. He's obviously put him there to like, yeah, yeah. as if any of this would be worth it. Yeah, yeah sure. um, I would sue him for like, I mean, you know, oh yeah, that's why I messaged him, like, Matt, because yeah. I don't think I'd have been able to to handle it as well as he did without yeah. like having such rage. Well, I mean, um, not to fucking guess what his family dynamic is like, but I'm sure like the beh- behavior like that's not just learnt overnight, is it? It's no. Something you, like you manage like yeah. long to tough him. Christmas. <laughs> yeah. I messaged Eric, and he like he, he special got released like four months after it was recorded, like not classically. That's what he spent four months trying to figure out how to cut that. Yeah, <laughs> but also he said he's not seen his brother since that <laughs> night. Fucking so, so it's gonna be a ropey Christmas wow. this year. Yeah, his brother's <laughs> waiting for an apology from him. Yeah, he thinks he was the. Yeah, one that's it. He was the one that was fucking. Um, Kick me out! Ah, I was having a laugh. Yeah, just yeah, just yeah. joking. Yeah, yeah, can't take a joke. You're a comedian. Um, have you ever had family yeah. members come to a gig? Yeah, doing worse. Yeah. They could have fucked him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and it is always annoying. <laughs> Not, not because I don't want them there, but just because they always insist on telling me that they're going to be there and where they're going to be sat. And then it's like beforehand, they're like, oh, you're getting nervous. And it's like, this would be much better if you just... Died. <laughs> <laughs> you just, if you just didn't tell me that you were here, yeah, just come yeah. to the gig and then afterwards say fine. But yeah. when I know you're there from the start yeah, yeah. and you're, you're saying, oh, do you still get nervous? I'm like, no, but a little bit now, you're fucking here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Because you know, yeah. if this goes terribly, I've got to remember this forever. This is why I've like, for yeah, the first yeah. two years, I didn't let anyone I knew come to yeah. see me. Because like, it's just not, like if it goes it badly, then it just stays it? in the yeah, room. I but like, so. if you've got your mates from working, 
Fucking hell. Like, yeah, yeah no, I talked about it me. on the last yeah, one, well, I, was, I? I? was so unpopular in my jobs that I never had any work friends who wanted to come oh, see really? me anyway. Oh. So, now we, we, we I feel like that's hook. by design. Do I yeah, think you've I done that on like, purpose. Yeah, I was kind of like pushing people away so that they wouldn't come and see me. But I don't <laughs> it's know. my switch. Fuck off. He's just playing it alone <laughs> in the staff <laughs> room. <laughs> he leaves another controller out just so that they can touch it and he can shout yeah. at them. So he pretends as well. Like when you like when you pretend, pretend to plug the pad in for your little brother, he's like, yeah, you're doing a great job. You're in third now. Fucking loser. <laughs> We're playing Zelda. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so yeah, I've hurt my foot and I'm very sad about it. I had to go to A&E last night. Uh, that's a sad situation. That I was only in there for like an hour, though. That's pretty. Yeah, I was well surprised to be fair, because I I messaged I'm him as soon surprised. as I saw that he did himself, and I was like, "Thanks, by the way." Appreciate yeah, be you. trying to be a good mate. Yeah. Also, like trying to get off recording this today didn't work. Ah well. <laughs> yeah, sorry, mate. Happy to be here. Sorry, I turned up. Thanks for coming. Up. <laughs> no, it's not the same thing to say to the guests. That's <laughs> <laughs> really good. Mate. I just wanted to make sure today. you were all right. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. No, I did. I wanted to make sure you were all right and uh, see, see what was going on. And you got back to me so quickly for the time that you got to A and E. How did you get fast tracked? Did you have to lay I off? I bought thick? the little uh, five pound gold membership. <laughs> <laughs> NHS gold. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, don't don't because that's coming in it. <laughs> Oh mate, it'll imagine cost more than five pounds. Oh mm. fucking hell! Oh wow, uh, fast track with the Aussie, fucking fuck right, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Few you would buy it, but like in, in Disney, <laughs> Disney World, they call it Genie Plus. <laughs> Do you reckon they'll have like some sort of like fucking fun name for yeah, the Aussie? Yeah, like, yeah, like Ward Plus or something <laughs> like that. Yeah. I'd, I'd, I'd pay for it, but then whatever was wrong with me, I'd make it a little bit worse to make sure I got more treatment from them. Yeah. Out of them. You want to get your money? I want to get your money. Yeah. I've got a slightly broken arm, right? Yeah, I'm going to yeah. completely break it. Yeah. So they have to set it in cast. What if it, like, they worked on like a club foot, but I've only got one? Yeah. I'm just milking it. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah. Sick, really. <laughs> I love the idea as well that when you get to the front of the queue, they just like cross off. Like, <laughs> okay, this is your cat scan. You've done that one for the day. You're not allowed to come back. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> hey, you buy one. Yeah. 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 have one treatment for yeah. each ring. It's the iron day. lung for you, Mr. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's all that's he's all got left. That sounds like a great ride at Alton Towers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The iron lung. <laughs> that yeah. sounds sick, doesn't it? You'd go on that. It'd be like on a. That'd be great. Yeah. That poor guy who was in an iron lung his entire yeah, fucking polio. life died recently. Mental, didn't he? That, yeah. Oh god, I cannot even imagine mentally how you would be able to live for that long, yeah. living in an iron lung. Like fair play to him. The claustrophobia is just insane. It's, it's not it? even that. My needs are so basic. When I see anyone that has sort of like, you know, a I lack of motility, <laughs> I just think. What about the wanking? What about your dick? I just, I go instantly to what that. What happens to my dick? Yeah, like, I'm just so driven. <laughs> yeah. I'll be that. honest, mate. I think if you've got an iron lung and you barely survive it, I don't I'd think still want to come every day, Aaron. Yeah. And how's that happening? What's an iron lung do? Does it just make you breathe? It can't okay. wank you so, off as well. So I think there's no feature. No, that's so not a thing. That's, that's in the that's that's, 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 that's in the Iron <laughs> Lung Six Plus. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's the DLC. Yeah, that's the, the, the technology for it. By the software, one. they just delayed bringing it out, so you have to pay more. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like I, I think the way it works in Iron Lung, it's like about pressure differentials. So that 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 um, this see, I've got a. Got a degree, and I use big words to make it sound like I know what I'm talking about. Yeah, but yeah. I don't. There's like a, it's pressurized, so it, it just it, it stimulates your lungs to move uh, because of pressure changes. So it breathes for you. Right. He's essentially in a giant flashlight, though. Yeah. And he can't be near it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, ma- yeah, maybe he's coming all the time. Maybe it's torture. It's constant. It's it's non-stop. Do you know when you've got like a fucking, you know when you wake up with that morning erection mm. and nothing's getting done about it? Yeah, like yeah. you've got to get on with your day. Like just that anguish of like, I wish I had time to just sort of. Is that, am I alone with that, by the way? No, I get morning glory. Yeah, I, yeah but I, I have to do I, I'm still about thinking it. of the iron lung situation. Do you reckon like at some point, it, like in our lifetime, you'll be able to like customize it? So like, if it is like a flashlight, Joe, you can buy them for like different porn stars. Can I have the Can I have the Riley Reed Iron Lung there? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it's like just slightly different shape as you go in. Yeah, yeah, it's gotta <laughs> it feels be. a little bit different. Yeah, there's gotta be flashlights which are already modelled after famous porn stars for giants. Yeah, there are. There are. Yeah, gotta be. So yeah, an Iron Lung would be fine. Yeah. yeah, I like how it's. I mean, the whole thing, the the the, the gravitas of that fella dying was he was the last person in the Iron Lung. They don't exist anymore. They're not needed anymore. Oh really? Wow. Yeah, yeah. Because if they're not le- needed, why was he still in it? Because he was that fucking old. Yeah, and he'd been in it for so long. He he needed it at that point. I think what it is, it, it's because it's yeah. If you took him out of that, were... you know that bit in um, is it Raiders of the Lost Ark where the guy touches the wrong cup and <laughs> <laughs> he just immediately just goes old. That's what happened to him if you take him out of that Iron Lung. <laughs> but he'd finally come. Yeah, he was. That's the important thing. <laughs> and it'd be the last thing he ever did. Yeah. <laughs> hey, if that was the last thing I ever did on this earth, I'd, I'd yeah. be a happy person. How I'd soon after the, the jizzing, though, or do you, you want to die? Immediately. Oh, imagine dying. No, like, 
Oh, oh blue blue God. balls by life, yeah. oh, by death. Ah, that's the worst death. <laughs> that would be horrible. The, the, the worst death and the perfect death are literally seconds apart from each other. Mm. Yeah. I'd be in heaven I don't know if it's the perfect fuming, death. Saying just a, a five seconds later. Finish me off, finish me off, finish prick. me off. Yeah, yeah. But like you do, like there is that element of like, you do want to finish it. If there's seconds you jits, you just die. That's mm. not, there's, there's no, the fun isn't there. You've got to have a few seconds. Like, Cause you can, the, the, the sensation is a few sessions, few, few sessions. Few, few, few seconds. seconds. <laughs> you okay? Few no. sections. <laughs> Baz- Bazillion jujitsu. <laughs> Go on, a few seconds. having too many Brazilian sessions. <laughs> uh, a few Many's seconds after after, after the jism. You know what I mean? Mm. So you don't want to die immediately after jizzing. No, I disagree. Immediately, like, jawing. You, di- you, want to, you want to die as soon as it's done because then the shame doesn't set in. You just, boom, done. You know, sometimes you have but that you always shame. feel shame after you have an orgasm? Not always, but sometimes. Oh, man. Yeah. God, yeah, I, you I, just I, come I, free and be like happy. I, I'm so driven by it, though. Right. Like, I feel like I've just got to fucking jizz all the Does time. Does your day revolve around you jizzing? Um, not my... I wouldn't say so much my day. I'd say my reason for living. Yeah, to be honest. If if any freak accident took my dick from me, I'm dead. I'm dead. Why should I live anymore? I'm sorry if it's a sensitive subject for people with no dicks. All right, what if you can't jizz, but you... Oh, sorry, you can't have an orgasm, but you as can in still women. jizz. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not as binary as you are in my thinking. Right. I, I stick to my comments. I okay. said people without dicks. Okay. <laughs> what were you asking then? Sorry. I can't remember now. Before Aaron was being a bigot. <laughs> no, where was that? <laughs> but I know I just, I'm so, I'm so like, yeah, it's at the forefront of my mind all the time. Not right now. Dicks are at the forefront you, of your mind. My <laughs> dick is. My di- I'm so like, driven by it yeah it is mm. quite concerning to me i think without that i'd have no meaning but well, what if you if you couldn't life. have an orgasm but you could still come meaning you could still make have kids would you carry on and have kids or would you be like no if i can't have an orgasm it's not worth it no kids that's like saying you can buy ice cream but you can't eat it you like can only a- eat the cone <laughs> yeah, that's just, you get, you're giving me the worst part <laughs> yeah, yeah. the worst part of sex kill me now like i don't want i don't want kids at all i don't oh, think. really yeah wow. i just i want to just dump loads i'm thinking about i want to get the stip just so I can just dump loads. So your missus doesn't have to be on birth control, you mean? <laughs> She's not on birth control, so it's condoms that we use. Oh, yeah. Okay. yeah. That's crazy as well to me, that women. Like, it's quite common that women will take the pill for, like, years. Like, the, you're altering your hormones for, like, decades just because a man told you to. Fucking wrap it up, lads. Think of the women out there. <laughs> Would you take a pill? Yeah, to be fair, I probably would. Yeah, I, I would. Yeah, done. but would you take a pill if there were mad side effects like there is with birth control? No, I take no. a pill to keep my hairline. I'm not I'm fucking <laughs> anything to not have a shit kid in my life. <laughs> You're literally killing your dick to prioritize. Yeah. <laughs> 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 prioritizing my hairline. <laughs> yeah. More than my bloodline. Yeah, yeah there's, uh, I wrote a bit when I started, when I went on pills to save my head. Um, <laughs> I, I wrote a bit about it, but Jim Jeffries wrote the exact same thing, but it's so real, man. Like, you've, either, you've got two options. You can either not have the pills and be bald and no one wants to fuck you or you can go on the pills have hair and can't fuck anyone yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, that's yeah. literally your reality yeah. uh, but I'm, now my dick's sound bro fucking smacking it <laughs> Good on you. Yeah. the inflection in your voice didn't like my match fuck's the fuck. confidence yeah, yeah. Of my dick is <laughs> solid oh mate to be fair Joe you've talked about athlete dick like in depth on here athlete's dick uh, athlete dick Oh, sports, sports dick. Yeah, sports when it dick, shrinks yeah. when you do an exercise. <laughs> not not oh, like okay. skin coming yeah. off your cock. Like, he, he always did a bit about it, and it was like, do you know when someone does a stand-up bit, and you're like, they're speaking to me, but then I was a bit too full on with him afterwards. So I'm going, oh, I made that bit, like, I'm probably related to it. And he was probably like, yeah, yeah. About your <laughs> cock. <laughs> you like, your cock being dead small when you run. That's me, that lad. <laughs> There's some I, um... stuff behind you he wants to talk to him, but you're in the way, and Pete's like... <laughs> No, I, honestly, I mean, you want to hear about this. People get things tattooed on them that mean <laughs> things to them. I can do you one better than that. Uh, have you ever had injury dick? Because my cock disappeared yesterday. Whoa, when you hit Beth, before? Her, yeah, Beth helped me into the shower because I literally couldn't do anything yesterday. Like, it was so fucked. And like to get into the shower, I had to step up. So I was either, my foot was, my, my dodgy foot was either outside of the shower or in, but either way, it was fully weight bearing. So she had to like help me into the shower. As <laughs> she's helping me in, she looked down and went, where's she cock gone? <laughs> I literally, oh. I nearly oh. threw her through the fucking oh. bath panel. Like, That's the so worst thing she could right. ever say to you. I was yeah. like, what are you on about? What are you doing? Why are you doing that? I'm already hurting. But I looked out and it had gone to be fair. <laughs> it was gone. 
God. It was like the last bit. Joe, you've had three pieces of a Kinder Bueno and you've got that little tiny bit. <laughs> and like, oh, mate. It, it, it A&E disappeared. Dick. Yeah, yeah, A and E dick. Yeah, it was fucked, man. I had no dick left. And I got in the shower and I was like fully trying to wake it up and it was just like, no. All the blood went from my cocks and my foot. Yeah, that's why it's, it's so still small. There. Yeah. <laughs> it's still, still there. You've got yeah. an erect foot. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny, isn't it? The idea that when someone gets back from the hospital, you're helping them and you're just like, what happened to your dick? <laughs> <laughs> you're like, how many messages? <laughs> I'm really Me. scared. Of- <laughs> What's happened to your dick? That would be a terrifying thing to hear if you just got back from the hospital. If you were put under as well, you know, if you had like a kidney uh, out or something like that. So it's like, you, what I, to your dick? When you, you wake up. <laughs> you look down and half is missing. You're like, no. <laughs> I never should have got the fast pass. <laughs> um, yeah. I've, I've never had an injury, dick. I've never injured oh, it. It was in bad, way. man. It was really bad. Have you ever been punched in it? Punched in the dick? Like hit in the oh. dick? Uh, I've, yeah, I've, yeah, it's quite a lot in jiu-jitsu, to be honest, because like, you're just fucking scrambling it's a lot. It's a good technique. I yeah. dropped a jug into my dick the other day. Dropped like I what? dropped I dropped a jug, a glass jug. So into I quickly, your dick? So I dropped it and I quickly <laughs> went like that to grab it. And as I caught it, I caught it and like pushed it onto my knob and fucking Why were you hell. fucking a pirate? And it was full of Vaseline. It was weird. <laughs> I don't know how that happened. No, no, I just, it was pirates as well. I had a picture of Riley Reed in the end of it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, just fucking he's cracked me, cock like and bollocks with it. full of lip. <laughs> <laughs> You never fucked a pirate full of Vaseline. You no, 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 no. <laughs> Just love the idea of you put microwave in it for a little minute. <laughs> Dishwasher yeah, safe now. Nah, don't put be, it in. Don't it, put it in. It needs to be human temperature. <laughs> I'm going to heat this up. Yeah, I'm not going to fuck a dead body. Yeah, do you know yeah. what I mean? Uh, that's a baggy dish as well. I didn't actually fuck it. I just hit me knob with it was the hey, point oh, I was making. I oh, fuck it. I thought you were serious and not doing a bit that I wasn't going along with. But no, carry on. You're always What is this? Fun. What is this here? <laughs> Sorry for trying to, you know, you know, flesh it out. That's the wrong word. Um, <laughs> Fleshlight it out. <laughs> Fleshlight out. So you were saying, yeah, did you be, ser- be serious now. No, no. Hey, no. be serious. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry. It's the right fucking uncle. <laughs> 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 By the end of it, I'm just punching him in the face. <laughs> Be serious! <laughs> I don't know why I made a big point, Mark, because I was literally done. I had just hit me knob. Did you have a bruise or anything like that? I just it? hit hit it, hit me balls really hard. Oh, your balls? Yeah, so you asked dick, to be honest. I don't think it hurts much when you get your dick hit. It's the it's balls, isn't it? Mm. It's the balls. Like, when you get hit in the balls, that's like... Do you know how sometimes people, like, have you like episode of Friends when Phoebe gets sick and she's like, she has a sexy voice? Yep. And like you, do you reckon shoes. if you got hit in this sticky shoes, uh, do you reckon if you got hit in the dick and it's swollen up, you'd be like gutted when it went back to normal? Yeah. Like you're constantly <laughs> yeah. like just attacking like your dick. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Hey, I've got bee sting dick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. You're the opposite of what Beth said. Beck's like, fucking hell, why is your dick so there? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm mm. going out to fuck another bee's nest. <laughs> <laughs> so we could stay seven inches erect. For you, darling. I'm doing this for you, for us. <laughs> that sounds like a jackass stunt that, doesn't it? Oh, uh, yeah. Steve O'Pun They've probably done it. Bees. They've probably I done would it. not be surprised. Yeah, I They've probably done it. They'll have definitely done something with bees, whether it's with the cock, who knows. What's but the most exotic object you fucked? Your mum. <laughs> <laughs> Well, there was, there was, <laughs> put some respect on it. Jesus. I love Sue. <laughs> a little too much. <laughs> Go on, give me a serious answer. She's also not that exotic. She's just from like... She's from Bolsey. Bolsey. Yeah, yeah. She's from Brutal. That's, that's going to be exotic if you never leave Liverpool, I guess. <laughs> You've lived in uh, London all your life. Ooh, a girl from Bootle. <laughs> a whole bus to see her. <laughs> what, the whole bus is going to see her? <laughs> yeah, yeah, the whole bus. <laughs> We're all singing songs like it's Let's the Let's see why they call them a wall. <laughs> Oh, when the boys go, man. I don't know what <laughs> football people sing, but you know, stuff like that. That must be the proudest moment. For, like, I'm not a fussy. Are you a fussy guy? Um, neither, neither are we. Speaking on your behalf, I know you're not. That must be the proudest moment for a fussy fan is starting a chance. Oh, yeah. In, imagine I would love to be involved creating in a song. Songs. You just mm. think of a song and it gets picked up. I would like that. I, yeah. Like, I do Everyone love the, the, the excitement of being like sort of in like a big crowd, like whether it be at a gig or whatever and stuff. But I'd love, I'd love to have a little sing song. It would be worse than bombing though if it doesn't catch. Wouldn't it? If you're alone belting it and no one's singing. Well, along, you just got to keep going, and, and then the... eventually someone's going to join. Oh, it. I don't know. Don't you think ninety it's minutes in, you're, then just, like, you're exhausted? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> 
<laughs> you're still singing. Everyone's left on stage and you've got over. Game's over. I'd I misjudge you. <laughs> I'd misjudge you. I wouldn't even do like, I've just been to see Sister Act. I wouldn't even do like, <laughs> like I'm in the, in the in the cop. Like, I will follow him. <laughs> follow him wherever he may go. On the wing. Oh, just like throwing a football <laughs> reference in there. You know the way after a theatre show, people go to the bar that's in the theatre and hang around. You could get a chance started there after the show, I reckon. Because people will be a little bit pissed, a little bit yeah. happy about it. Well, the people show. did it in like uh, in nightclubs as soon as the fucking like the lights go on, everyone starts chanting when the music gets cut off and stuff. Did, were you ever in a nightclub till closing time? Um, yeah, of course I was. Yeah, so what, what, what about nah, me doesn't scream pie? You, know? um, <laughs> you are a bastard. <laughs> <laughs> you are face bastard. Um, but yeah, everyone was fucking. What was that song that was. Uh, Oh, fuck it, I don't know. I can't remember. Um, no, it was like uh, uh, I said that one. Yeah. I like it, it, I liked yeah, it the yeah, first few same. times, and now it's ruined for yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. Because it's like it's this opening chords, and then it's oh, you know what I mean. I was on a boat in a, in a, <clears throat> in Florida. We there was like our taxi had a boat from like the theme park to the the hotel, and we were on the late night boat. They were playing that, and there was these pissed Americans doing it. And my missus started joining in, and she was having a whale of a time. But I was like. I'm not going to tell you what to do. I'm not going to control you, but I've never been more unattracted to you in my life. You are everything that I hate about people right now, but you do you. You do you. You have fun. And I, I insisted he didn't do those vows on his wedding day, but he did it. <laughs> <laughs> and then afterwards, like one of the American guys was like, who else was singing? I heard a girl and she was singing her heart out. And I was looking at her like, don't you fucking. Yeah. yeah. Don't you dare have fun. Yeah, not around me. Oh, no, yeah, but I, I like... was very self-aware. I was going to it. I know that you were having a good time. I'm not mad at you. Oh, I'm that's mad fine. At the then. Situation. That's fine. Then. I'm mad yeah, at the better. version of you that I've seen tonight. <laughs> <laughs> not mad like at you it, as a whole. I'm mad at the person I thought you were, and now I've yeah. discovered you are not. Yeah, now I've been <laughs> disappointed. <by. laughs> and the guy was going like when he was saying, "Look, we're, we're, who was it singing the heart out?" He was like, "Everyone's acting like they're too cool," and I was thinking, "I am too cool." I wasn't acting. I am too cool to be yeah, singing you with you and your gimpy mates. Mustard sweater. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and crocs. I'm wearing a mustard sweater and I'm still too cool <laughs> yeah. to sing along with you, sir. So not, that doesn't mean that I'm cool. It just means you're that much of a fucking gimp. As yeah. much as you hate Americans, though, not you personally, but just like British people in general, as much as you hate them, do part, does part of you not feel like, you know, like you'd love a bit of their enthusiasm for life sometimes? Yeah, do you know definitely. what I mean? Like I it went to the Andrew really Schultz it, gig, yeah. um, and they made a big point of. Um, I think it was Mark Gagnon who was his like his final support act, and he said like, obviously we know in the UK you guys just like to fucking chill and clap, but you're about to be in the presence of one of the greatest living comedians today. When he comes out here, you're going to Bill be on Cosby. Your feet. Yeah, mental. <laughs> um, when he comes out, you're going to be on your feet. You're going to go wild. You're going to go crazy, and you're going to bring the fucking house down for Andrew Schultz. And he came out, and everyone got up on their feet, and the vibes were great. Oh wow! But that was only because uh, they it g'd you up so well. Yeah. And because he was American about it, do you know what I mean? And like, he'd really sort of brought it out in you. If any, like, if Michael McIntyre came out, fantastic. Yeah. Well, it's the say. accent as well. If that little, you know, riling up thing, if that was in like a brummy accent, it yeah. just wouldn't hit the same, would it? One you of know? the greatest yeah, you know, <laughs> living comedians. He's put friends together for one of the greatest living comedians ever to have lived. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Jasper Carrots. It, it just doesn't really, you know what I mean? You can't imagine the people. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> Golden balls! Golden balls! You're about to be in the presence of one of the greatest living comedians in the uh, the county of Durham. <laughs> I couldn't think of another brummy. <laughs> You're going to be in the presence of one of the top 15 comedians in the West Midlands <laughs> over 40s category. <laughs> uh, what was that show he did with that other guy? And he were detectives or something. I've no idea. I only knew him for Golden Balls. Just I didn't even know he was a comedian until fairly something. recently. I knew him from something before yeah, Golden I, Balls. I, same. I saw him on Golden Balls. Oh, he's, he's a presenter. I used to fucking like, hate oh, him shit. as well. Do you know who his, his daughter is? Um, Luke, the, um, Dawn from The Office. Yeah. The, oh. the English one. Yeah. British I've one. genuinely not seen it. You've not seen it? Oh, no. no. She's in Shaun of the Dead. What's as well. her name? Yeah. Is she called like Stacey Carrot? Yeah, that blew my mind as well. Carrot must be a stage name. Like I thought that was his actual name. Yeah, well, it's got to be. I don't know. There's yeah. some fucking mental names out there. Well, Jasper's a mad one, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. We found out one of our trainee teachers' first name was Jasper. Oh, really? And he got called Jaspy for the rest of the school Jaspy. year. Jasper. Robert Norman Davis. That's worse. <laughs> yeah. Sounds like an 80s synth artist, doesn't it? 
he looks like Voldemort massively in this photo. Let me let me zoom in and show you. Hold on, we've proper digressed. What's the weirdest object you fucked? Jasper Carrot. <laughs> <laughs> with a carrot. <laughs> <laughs> That's why he changed his name. Because Adam fucked him with a carrot. Yeah, yeah. Did I ever tell you? I'll show you some golden right, balls. Did, right. did I ever tell you the story about the carrot? Yeah, when I was in uni. <laughs> One of my housemates. Is that how you refer to it? The carrot. The carrot. <laughs> 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 there, was a, there was one of my mates in uni he was making like comments about wanting to try putting stuff up his ass like exploring that but he you was told me this i yeah. think i've told yeah, you yeah. this yeah he was just making it and passing a lot of the comments but we do off we like pool our money together do the food shop together cook together and a couple times i caught him in tesco like with like a a, a fucking what's the cucumber courgette like a courgette in one hand uh a carrot in the other like weighing them up a bit the big wow. ones but then he'd catch me looking and he'd smile and he'd put them down and i was like it's a bit joey was just doing it as a bit but one night we he, he used to do this thing when we were on nights out where he'd disappear and we'd just come home and he'd be in bed there'd be like a kebab or whatever um like kebab stuff in the bin he's trying to stick a kebab up his ass <laughs> Don, donna by donna <laughs> just, um, the chili and, sauce would fuck you up yeah, uh. so he'd fucked off early one night and um he'd got he was asleep upstairs and i'm putting like my food in the bin and i open the bin to put it in and there's just a fucking massive carrot in there with a Johnny on it. Well. So not only did he stick a carrot up his ass. He didn't he want to get pregnant. But he, yeah, he didn't want any baby carrots. <laughs> <laughs> he just wants to felt the need to stick her up his ass. That's wow. so weird, that, isn't yeah. it? Why would he put the Johnny on it, though? That's the maddest thing to me. I don't know. Maybe it was a bit, like, gnarled and chipped. And he, <laughs> he didn't, didn't want to scratch himself. his yeah. the inside of his Safe ass. Safe sex with but the carrot. Yeah, come from the ground. Sense. He's still got, you know. He's still, still got standards. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I don't want that soil in my shitty asshole. One of the sickest <laughs> videos I think I've ever seen is that guy who puts the glass jar up his ass. One man, one jar, yeah. And it shatters Fucking inside man. him. Oh, and blood just starts pissing out of his and ass. And he's, but, but when you see him, Aaron, it's like a close-up shot. Suddenly my foot doesn't feel so bad. <laughs> <laughs> it's a close-up shot. And when you see, like, the blood start pouring, he's just nonchalantly just pulling shards of glass out of his ass. And you then, because then, obviously that's, like, took your attention. Then you start looking at the scene. You see he's got all scars on his legs, and you're thinking, this isn't his first. This isn't his first row, is it? But he probably had not The adrenaline is probably, like, similar to me with my foot. Like, because I can't even tell you <laughs> yeah. that I just... Oh, yeah, you, it's it, all come back to the foot. Yeah, I try and stick I've, my foot up my own ass. Yeah, I do, and then it shatters. <laughs> it, shatters. it just shatters yeah, yeah. everywhere. But, like, I can't... It was, it was genuinely mental that, like, you heard the crunch, and I felt it when it happened. Happened, it did hurt, but then immediately after it had happened, no, there was no pain whatsoever. So that's probably happened to his ass. Yeah, He's just yeah. pulling glass out of his ass, and there's nothing, there's no pain yet. It, the sounds of it as well, it's like you know, when you're rummaging through a change jar to find like a 50p yeah, or something, is, mate. it's that's insane. the noise that it's making him pulling glass out of his own ass. Oh it's my. Like, you're never gonna have a shit again, ever. <laughs> you're gonna have to get some tube in your fucking body that sucks the shit out because there's no way that's going oh, <laughs> like to life Just to stick a jar up his ass for like, what was it, five seconds? But he famous. didn't even get a wank out of it. He didn't. Like put it up, have a wank, and then I don't do think it. this is what you want it to be famous for. <laughs> yeah. 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 On a podcast on years later, like just obviously like with anything sort of creative. Showing his kids, <laughs> get around, kids. You see that guy? <laughs> That's your old man. <laughs> what? Stuck a glass jar up his ass. Like back in the day, used like black and white, video, like pictures of like the family. Yeah, like, yeah. Oh, he was he was handsome. Oh fuck it, he was kinky. <laughs> that could have just been like the dodgy. He could be producing dynamite content now, and that was just how we got his start. You look is back at our first up episodes now. Dynamite up his ass. Now. <laughs> Our first episodes are ropey. They, they are our jar in the ass. We look, we've grown. Uh, now you're not saying cucumber in the ass. <laughs> so it's a bit hard to that. Yeah. 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 All I'm saying vegetable. is respect content creators. All <laughs> right. We're, we're in the look at naked Martin now. Area. <laughs> if if of somebody, if something like that happened to you though, <laughs> if something like that happened to you though, and you were, that's the worst insult you could have possibly given. <laughs> you're in the um, Jasper Carrot area of your podcast. <laughs> there you go. Look enough. The greatest. He has a career resurgence, didn't he, with Golden Balls? That could be what this is. Okay. This, yeah. <laughs> You've had the rebrand, now it's Golden Balls. Yeah. <laughs> Off your balls. You're the way up. <laughs> 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 giving Aaron existential crisis. Yeah. Uh, what was I talking about? Um, yeah, if you film, if something happens to you, like he's filmed it because he wanted to film, like, you know, the glass of his ass, and now that's happened, you would. Maybe you would post it. I'd love to have the footage of like me, my foot getting like bent in the wrong direction just so I could like, oh, zoom yeah. in and see it and be like, fuck it, as if that happened. See the moment. Yeah. 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 I, would I, you put I, it I, on I Instagram for your fans? I probably would put it on Instagram. I don't know if, uh, you know, they'd appreciate it. I'd, I'd always watch a video of a man getting his fuck 
different angles. <laughs> yeah, I'd watch people get hurt, definitely, yeah. yeah. People watch people getting hurt yeah. all the time. If you get, if you manage to get that footage yeah. in any way. This is going to sound so sinister. I'd put like a voice changer on it and stuff. Like, as it crunches, I go, ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, no! That's how he's blending it, a voice changer. It's just, that's actually the noise that was made. Yeah, yeah everyone else in the... <laughs> everyone else reacts, but in their normal voice. <laughs> I'm like, I only put it on that bit. <laughs> <laughs> Honest. You, like, I think you're being... So you've just sprained it, haven't you? That's what the thing is. Yeah, and uh, just for context, he said that often that can hurt more than a break. Well, I think oh. you're a big old pussy boy because I've... Now he's the up. bigger... Me? Yeah. Well, how's that bigoted? Kicking pussy in your boy. face with your massive because foot. <laughs> I, I call you the dick as an insult, and I'll call you the pussy as an insult because I'm an equal opportunity insultist. Right, is, but is that a, word? A, a dick is someone that's a dick, but a pussy is derogatory in the sense a of... A dick like, is derogatory also. Yeah, listen, I'm not finished. A pussy is derogatory in the sense that they're not as strong. So that's why it's Pussy's a boss, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so thank great. you for calling me a pussy boy bitch. <laughs> Because I'm, that means I'm sound, and you'd love to be inside me. <laughs> yeah, the, the, the closing statements. Pussies are boss. Yeah, That's boss, the name of the episode. You're not like to shag in them. Yeah, just fucking boss, aren't they? Feels sick. Like, not to look at or smell or anything like that. But just to shag them. <laughs> feel fucking great I love being straight you know I know gay people are like oh, I love being gay and that's fine but I also love being straight because pussy's a boss <laughs> keep going and you know what if you're like if you're like Adam me Tatus. why don't you reach out why don't we go on the pole together get some pussy yeah <laughs> you must have some fucking autistic fans who go out for a drink with me get on the bus to me mum see me new friends <laughs> go to bootle <laughs> yeah, go to bootle with me we're gonna pull shoot some features but the, the reason I call you a pussy though is because I've, I've sprained my feet countless times it's part of me Weird club flex. foot yeah and I'm and it's, it's sound do you not think okay, I step off a curb and sprain my feet getting at. do you not think <laughs> okay, there is different levels <laughs> of sprains yeah and I've had them all right A to Z lad. the same foot or both both mate I have fucking Man. equal opportunity for okay. this Oh, so what are you saying? Make your point. That you're a fatty and I'm solid. Right. <laughs> I would argue that's not a, a conclusion that any of us came I think that's great. This is like year seven to a podcast, isn't it? <laughs> I think your mum's fat and gay. Oh, yeah. Well, I think you stink as shit. Anyway, let's go. We got science. Oh, fatty's boss. <laughs> yeah. That's great. This should be a podcast where everyone just acts like a fucking year seven. Yeah. I think that's what hey, we've been doing. You have, you have his fingers again and smelt your finger. <laughs> I asked before, what's the weirdest object? You're fucked and everyone just changed the subject. You're obsessed with this answer in this question. Well, it's just a weird question to ask and not get an answer. It's the a, listeners a, will be going, It's a why weird question Adam to hear me? repeatedly. I don't think they will be doing that. Why is it? Why is it? largely they've switched off. As soon as you said you're a pussy by a bitch, there's like, nah, I don't, think, I don't, like, I don't listen to podcasts oh, that are on, inaccurate. I'm toxically masculine. I, I don't get, this I, is not toxic masculinity. I dare Liam insult Daddy Aaron. That's what one of them will be thinking. <laughs> That's it. Get your foot back out, Adam. And then his mum will bang on the wall and say, Dude, stop using the internet. <laughs> you know what makes you wank uncontrollably? <laughs> have to come in and fucking spray with a fire hydrant. <laughs> I don't know. I'd love to meet actual podcast fans. I wonder what they look like. Have you ever met any of your fans from this yeah. show? Are they normal yeah. people? He was That's all the right. maddest thing. <laughs> <laughs> he was all right. <laughs> uh, no, yeah, we've met, we've met a few of them. Right? Yeah, and are they uh, just normal people, are yeah. they? Yeah. That's cool, isn't it? Some of them are a bit. Uh, does that ever worry you that you might get a psycho being a fan of the show? No, because I do stand up and there's worse like stand up fans than podcast fans, I think. Do you think? Yeah. Oh, I don't know, you know. I, think I feel it, like it, podcast fans feel like they could talk to you for longer because they've listened to you like have a conversation with people. So they're like, oh, I'll just do that with them. Whereas weird stand up fans are just like, oh, that was great. But I think because they listen to you so much, you're able to mold them in so that like. <laughs> They're not going to come up and be like, "Do you get heckles?" Because mm. we spoke about it, you right. know what I mean? Mm. And they know that that question's stupid, right? Whereas, like, just stand-up fans savvy. that are just like, right. are just they go to the chuckle fuck factory or something like. Sounds yeah, boss. Yeah. I want to go chuckle there. fuck factory. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'll in, have a triple Darby. chuckle fuck factory, please. Sounds like a big old ice cream. That <laughs> I want one. Does it? it? Does yeah? It does to me. Taste that what? I don't know. Factory boss. The fact he likes ice cream. <laughs> He's thinking about it. <laughs> right now, yeah. <laughs> if we've learned anything about me today, I like my dick, I like pussies, and I like ice, ice cream. Ice cream. That's why his feet are gone. And Jasper Carrot. Diabetes. <laughs> <laughs> Taking it one toe at a time. <laughs> Look what Jasper Carrot's doing right now. Can I tell you about my A&E experience? Yeah, um, so I got there. God um, bless the NHS, by the way. Yeah. Yeah, I, I they, was, say they took care of me yesterday. Yeah. In an hour, in an hour. Um, but I called so up one more. I right off, to be honest. 
Why, you do, why is he nagging me the whole way through this podcast? I'm clearly <laughs> you feeling look a so little like bit <laughs> sad. Do you know what I mean? Like, you're I'm not like hurt. a little wilted flower. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and he's just... Hits. Do you get Beth to look after you? Oh, oh man, I've anyway. been... Yeah. I mean, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm like that to be like, fair. It started to feel better late last night and I started fucking throwing myself down the stairs. It's, yeah, just make sure that she looks after me. For oh, some, oh like accidentally nice. Ow! Yeah. Ow! <laughs> What's happened? I was just literally just laying in bed. <laughs> like, <laughs> she comes running in. Are you okay? No. <laughs> Let me see your tits again. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I was going to say I need a hug. <laughs> You're like, I need to see your tits. <laughs> way I'll feel better. I love tits. Yeah. Pussy's a boss. Yeah, well, the three of us are the most beta. Like, t- t- this is the most beta toxic masculinity podcast I've ever it seen. Is, like, I hate football, but I love tits. Yeah, this is where it comes out because betas have to be toxic sometimes. Yeah. We can't. Well, then, I don't know. Maybe you, but I don't think you're a beta. Aaron's a beta, man. I don't know. Aaron's a beta masters an alpha, which is worse. Oh, I think he's I'm just. Sorry, like, why am I being a tit? Why am I being a tit? <laughs> He's a base of masters and alpha. What, 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 what alpha my masters? Yeah, that's <laughs> what am I doing an impression of? <laughs> Fucking Dan Bilzerian, Andrew Tate, Joe Rogan. I'm a perfect blend of the three of them. Yeah, <laughs> that's true, actually. Yeah. Who am I masking myself? Why after? do you think he's not a beta? Not a beta. Yeah. So um, I get pussy. Yeah, you're just a bit too fucking tall and handsome and aware of that. You know what I mean? Heard this. If you're yeah. a bit more insecure. I don't think he's you know, just a, he's, I am quite insecure. Yeah, I yeah, don't think he's aware enough, of it. Not enough for you to be a beta. You need to be more insecure to be a beta. You're you like, you're literally, know, a, you're, whenever fucking I'm insecure about how between not beta, beta I am. I know, <laughs> <laughs> get angry. Why can't I be beta? Yeah, <laughs> shut up. Why can't I be fucking gullible and sad? <laughs> Is that what I am? No, you're just a bit too <laughs> Is that what you think of me? <laughs> oh, no, not you. See, and that's how easy it is. Yeah, it's easy. It's, it's a beta. Yes. Yeah, yeah, they believe whatever you tell Yeah, you're right. I'm a fucking I'm I think alpha. You're, I don't know about alpha. No, I think you're just a step below alpha, but a step above beta. If you'd have seen my cock yesterday, you. you'd have thought I was a full beta. <laughs> <laughs> Until it disappeared. Dick. Yeah. Yeah, it was so pathetic, man. I've never seen anything like it. Like, I know I keep circling back to it, but, like, it was... It was special. I'd ask you to draw a picture, but it'll just make me sad as it resembles my normal knob all the time. Yeah. <laughs> like, did you trace around mine? <laughs> Why are you showing me a photo of my own penis? Oh, wait, it's a drawing the of yours. Did you take that? I'm so sorry. <laughs> Why is it under that? the desk in here? <laughs> Who took that? That'd be funny. Uh, look at this picture of a tiny dick. Like, at least Who took that? <laughs> at least put a filter on it. Do something. I just called 111 as she ran through like a database of uh, <laughs> of questions. And if anyone's rang, have you guys rang 111 before? I have. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they ask you every question in the world. And she actually says at the start, like <laughs> some of them aren't going to be relevant. But like, just, just if you just answer them as honestly, it's easier for us to assess you. So like straight away, like I've already mind I've told her my symptoms already. Like I've already mentioned what's wrong with me. I've got a sore foot, I'm elevating it. It's really swollen, I can't bear weight on it. <laughs> right away, she's like, um, and you know, how are your teeth? Like that's genuinely how stupid the questions become. Like yeah. they just like- right? They make you feel stupid too. Yeah, and like she, at one point she goes, uh, Beth sat next to me <laughs> on the couch together. And she goes, uh, do you feel- Feel, uh, anxious, nauseous, stressed, or agitated. <laughs> and Beth just like burst out laughing immediately, as if to be like, "What?" Well, I mean, that would be weird if he doesn't. <laughs> like that's that's the anomaly. Like in this situation, like if he no longer feels that way, then yeah, like just yeah. agitated. She'd have drove you in. <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, she did actually. Beth took me down to Annie. Did she? Yeah, she's a good. Did she carry woman. you in? She didn't now. Yeah, boosted the door. Down. Yeah, love lived up where we belong. I, I, I imagined over the shoulder for some reason. <laughs> gave it to a doctor. <laughs> Kiss on the head. Was that on his tiny little dick, the kiss? <laughs> yeah. Hey! No, you said it! Hey! for you. <laughs> it wakes up. Like a man. <laughs> she coughs. Oh, the song gets louder. Get Love lived us that way. Um, and then I went into A&A and it was exactly what you imagine older may and A to be. Oh, God. oh mate. There was a woman full in Full of a... fitties, yeah? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Lads, lads, lads. <laughs> yeah, full of fucking talent. <laughs> talent! <laughs> I went in, I put my arms on it, it's just like, pussy's a boss. Got <laughs> <laughs> a round of applause. Yeah. Like, ooh, 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 ooh. Started a chant. Logan, <laughs> one arm, he's like, yeah, he's fucking right here. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> just nearly spat water. <laughs> it's right, girl. <laughs> it's right, girl. <laughs> it's right. Such a scout fucking it sense. Right. It's fast, that. <laughs> Two words. It works um, for everything as well. Right. But I went in and there was a woman in a wheelchair, and she was literally like the exact opposite of somebody you would want to see in a hospital. When everyone, like, you're surrounded by sick people, proper like, yeah, yeah, you walk away, walk <laughs> away, then just walk away. I'm not even asked why. And like, it was constant. And like, there's a oh, literally a ki- there's a kid right next to us whose parent, like, her parents brought her in and said she just fell down the stairs. Like, we need to like check her out real good. And like, she's like crying next to us. And this woman's just like, yeah, walk away then, just walk away. And like, going absolutely <sighs> mental. And you do, you just like, I hope this see us quickly. And I genuinely believe that that's maybe why they see, saw me quickly. Because if I was a nurse or a doctor, she's going to the back of the list. Yeah, no, so. no, you want to get them out? No, no, because you need like you're going to be at that hospital anyway. Yeah, like, just let her get more irate. I couldn't give a fuck, mate. Like, if you're going to speak to me like that, <laughs> you're going to the back of the queue. You, I don't care that you've had a heart attack. You're going to the back of the queue. I think that's how customer service is like. That That's good customer service, that, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. And when, like, <laughs> you're, the, a big, you're a cunt. When the lad comes the in that's just like, oh, I've hurt my foot, actually. It's really sore. It's not possible to get an x-ray. Yeah, absolutely. No worries. You can have an x-ray. Her there that doesn't have a kids, she's not allowed anything. Yeah. Horrible it, she it, was. When you see people, like when you it. see, like, a... Uh, People like that out in the wild. It's probably a terrible sentence to say. It, like Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to catch that. Someone yeah, running yeah. into with an A and he's like, six meters away. <laughs> She's just a level like, three crackhead. <laughs> Yeah. What's she evolving to? Or is that the final well, form? Would crackheads evolve into smackheads or would smackheads evolve into crackheads? That's a tough one. What would you start with smack or crack? Smackhead used, used rage. It was fairly successful. <laughs> yeah. so, no, that's crackhead. Smackhead can only use sleep. Well, okay. An actual Pokemon reference and the accurate drug abuse reference. Right, yeah, we all had fun. Not annoyed with that. Love Pokemon <laughs> growing describe. up. Who's your favourite Pokemon growing up? Who's that? Who's favourite Pokemon growing up or favourite Pokemon now? Oh, you got one now? Yeah, it's the same one. <laughs> oh, okay. Who is it? It's got to be Charizard, mate. Charizard. Big, big fiery big dragon. Lizard. What about you? Mine is c- uh, coughing and wheezing, right? Because <laughs> coughing is just this ball, and he's, he uses, like, toxic attacks, so he's right. meant to be, like, you know, a poison ball of gas, and he's got this big smile on his face, and when he says his name, he sounds really happy. He goes, like, coughing! <laughs> like, he's dead happy. Right. And then he evolves he into wheezing, and when you evolve, you're meant to become a superior version of what you were, <laughs> but if you look at wheezing, it's this miserable, like, polluted, diseased, horrible <laughs> thing with this, like, fetus attached to it, like a smaller version of itself, and it just goes... <laughs> <laughs> It'll kill me. And I find that contrast so funny that it evolves and it's miserable and in pain all the time. It's like the it's reflective like, of humans. Yeah, it's, like you, the, it's like just a UK just like, like like perspective, isn't it? When you're a child, you've got all this love and yeah. you can't, like, you're just excited to be an adult and then you become yeah. an adult. You're just like, yeah. That's a good point. Yeah, that maybe that's why I like it because it's an, it's a, it's like being a it's human. You. Yeah. So when I was a coughing, that was when I was a child and I was happy. And then you got molested by your uncle molested. David. Or, you know, evolved, as he put it. <laughs> and then I became wheezing. Wheezing. Yeah. I funny. bet you were. <laughs> <laughs> Fucks the back of your throat so hard, you're like... <laughs> <laughs> That's why it sounds like that, yeah. <laughs> so they're my favourite Pokemon. Uh, but you did catch them all as well. <laughs> Trash TDs, that. So do, you like, do you like Pokemon? Or getting fucked by my uncle now. <laughs> no, I never liked that. Did you like Pokemon? Oh, yeah. Did you? Growing up. He poked me. Am I right? <laughs> Guys? <laughs> Tell us your Pokemon, lad. <laughs> and love lift up where we <laughs> We did that at the exact same time. <laughs> I thought he was guiding you. <laughs> like, comment, subscribe, baby. Get on the algorithm. Get this shit popping. Can I say shit? I don't know. I'll put it in the middle of the episode. It'll be sound. Give us a five-star review. <laughs> anything you can to help support the podcast. Me and Aaron, we'd really appreciate it, wouldn't we, mate? We would. We would. We'd also appreciate if you give us a little follow on our socials. Recently changed it with the rebranded. It's now at Off Your Chest Cast on absolutely everything. Give us a little follow on there. We'd really, really appreciate it, wouldn't we? We'd appreciate it. Yeah, of course we would. Yeah. Yeah, do it. Yeah. Please. 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 <laughs> Seriously, please. Just do it. <laughs> Seriously. I can't wait for the algorithm. Please. Get it done. <laughs> <laughs> just, well, just to sort of... Uh, Stick with the dick theme of the episode. I've got a, a an "Am I the Asshole" from Reddit. It is am just I, while you while you do it, can you sound as enthused as you are now? I'm just really so I'm really <laughs> bad at multitasking, so I'm trying to announce it whilst gathering it, whilst well. reading <laughs> it, <laughs> yeah. while skimming it, yeah, while getting it, yeah, yeah, from so, the top. Right. So, am I the asshole for drawing attention to a friend's bulge? 
So, <laughs> I-18 theme... I, I, theme? Beth sent this in last night. <laughs> my lack there of bulge. <laughs> I'm the arsehole for pointing out that my boyfriend didn't have a bulge. So, I-18... His foot's got that. a bulge. <laughs> <laughs> That's all it's all about. All me cocks in me foot. All me cocks in me foot. That's an amazing phrase. Sorry, love all me cocks in me foot. You've heard a foot in your mouth, or have you heard a cock in foot? <laughs> <laughs> Put me cock in it. <laughs> <laughs> He's trying so hard to No, it's just I'm really bad at multitasking. I don't know why I do these tasks. Uh, funny. <laughs> so, I 18. <laughs> Imagine that's what you, the phrase you use when somebody when somebody says something out of context is a bit wrong. Oh, he's got you've you've got to put your cock in it. <laughs> <laughs> he's got to put his. Foot in. Wow, that's what the detective said to the McCanns. <laughs> when he first said that their daughter's gone missing. So, well, you put your cock in it now, love. God rest her soul. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she is definitely dead. I mean, you hope. You know. <laughs> Jesus, she's still alive. <laughs> she must be going through. This just really made me laugh. <laughs> Like how you're apologising for laughing on the podcast. <laughs> well, I thought she's like, <laughs> oh, okay. I was trying to be his <laughs> uncle. <laughs> so, am I the arsehole for drawing attention to a friend's bulge? Yes. I we were still on this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I-18 female. I-18 female had a little bit of a house party. <laughs> <laughs> look, look wow. we've done a full episode. I can save this. No. Do you want me to save it? No, do it now because we've teed it up too much. Oh, fucking hell. Just he just has this way. Just of need like... to stop thinking about that poor girl. <laughs> <laughs> Am I the arsehole for drawing attention to a friend's bulge? I, 18 female, had a little bit of a house party. Wasn't that many people, just close friends. We have a hot tub and a guy friend of mine stood up in the hot tub. I'm not a weirdo or anything, but his bulge was quite clearly on the bigger end and a, sh- a shower... A, a sh- A shower, to say the least. I was a bit drunk and started making comments about how he shouldn't be allowed in public pools, and I even compared him to Drake. He actually ended up getting mad at me because when I made those comments, people started laughing and looking at his bulge. But surely people were looking at it anyway and were not saying anything until I did. I've never heard of a guy being annoyed at people saying his dick looks big. If it was a social norm for that to be an insult and not a compliment, I'd get it. But in actual fact, it's the opposite. It just had unintended consequences. Am I the asshole? No. Just because... <laughs> that, that guy's a fanny. <laughs> yeah, but also, no, but her I, reasoning's stupid, because just because some people might have been looking at the fat person for being fat doesn't mean you can then go up to him and be like, you fat cunt. <laughs> just because I had the balls to say it. Yeah. And I said, well, everyone was looking at you anyway because you're so big and fat. No, like, but but, but the, the difference is like between it, something that's insulting and something that's a compliment. So if, if someone looks muscular and you're like, hey, fucking abs on you, lad. Like, I, I said it to my mate's brother on, on my stag do. He took his top off. I was like, fucking hell, lad. I didn't know you were built like Hugh Jackman. I want to shag you. That's, well, a, that's a compliment. Why did he take his top off? We were getting changed for an activity. We were, activity. Getting, we were, getting, we were getting in the hot what tub. What was the activity? <laughs> Shagging. <laughs> I love that. There's a stag do activity. We've got football, yeah, yeah. tennis, shagging. Shag, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's on the checklist on the shirt. Yeah, we're going to do the escape room. And then, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you got, you got your nicknames on the back of it. Yeah. <laughs> but no, I, I think, like, why would anyone get upset? It's weird, isn't it? Because when, when you think about a girl in that position, if someone was like, haven't you got big tits? <laughs> Everyone starts looking at it. You, you see it as, like, lechy and, like, insulting and that yeah. person would be in the wrong. But when it's a man, as a man who wishes he had a dick that people were astonished by in a hot tub. I, I'm, I'm thinking, more concerned that his dick was so big in a hot tub. Mine just disappears. <laughs> it's 30 <laughs> degrees in there, man. It just disintegrates in the heat. It just goes. It's gone. It's so like it's a snowman. Puff, puff it's just, of smoke. <laughs> that's how much. <laughs> What's with like the bubbles the there? Usual, yeah, the end is the usual suspects. He's like, nah. <laughs> you keep referencing <laughs> movies I've not seen. I get the <laughs> reference. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. No. Kevin Spacey. I don't Wait, support it. He's, he's not. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm a huge fan. <laughs> no, not him. Not his it. <laughs> <laughs> he is in it. The moment he shagged that young boy. Yeah, didn't he try it on with... I'm sure told me that Kevin Spacey tried to fucking get him to his hotel room. I don't know if we're allowed to talk about this. So maybe we leave it. Nah, <laughs> just blank it out. Or just sue me. I've got nothing. <laughs> <laughs> you mean Kevin or... I'm going to sue you. Either. You either. the money more, I guess. <laughs> Kevin's not worked for a while. Yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> but yeah, I'm sure he bleeps. told me once that he tried to get him to go to a hotel room with him. I'm not saying he did, you know, he tried to touch him inappropriately, but I'm yeah. saying he definitely told me that he was like, he was trying to like, oh, I've got a hotel room upstairs. We should go up and like work on scripts together and shit like that. Yeah. Yeah. Like, nah, you're just trying to shag me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Fucking hell. Paul, anyway, move I, on because that no. was a lot of bleeps. Okay. <laughs> I, I'd have gone though. Well, to see what he'd do. Yeah, I just, just really? got, well, obviously, hindsight's twenty twenty, and you don't know. Mm. Like, what I yeah, there might have been more of them up there. You know what I mean? <laughs> Spielberg fucking jumps out the closet. Brian Singer. Yeah, Brian <laughs> Singer crawls out from under the bed. That'd be terrifying, wouldn't it? Oh, I like that bit in have arachnophobia. You, seen suit? <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you know arachnophobia? When he sat and you see the spiders coming out from behind the picture on the wall. That'd be like all the nonsense coming out of the room in the hotel. <laughs> oh, the yeah, out the woodwork. Yeah. Like, oh, he looks so young as Rosie. <laughs> the old time, he's like, don't worry, they're more scared of you than you are of it. Yeah, That's yeah. it. <laughs> Just like consoling him. Get a glass. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. A big fuck off glass. <laughs> a piece of paper. Yeah, space <laughs> underneath it. Why do you have a space underneath it, man? Massive glass. Make sure there's Vaseline in the glass. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and a picture of Riley Reid. <laughs> oh, hey, he should be shot, though, shouldn't he? Someone should just shoot him in. And... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, why not? Um, and Kevin Spacey. Someone should just kill him, eh? Do you reckon? Yeah, someone should just shoot him in the fuck. Yeah. Oh, yeah. More people need to be killed. Yeah. Keep okay, good. That's how demonetization got as if we had it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> right, should we wrap this up? Uh, sick. Hold uh, on, Dick Bulge thing. Do you think being a pussy or do you think he's... Yeah, I think so. Yeah. It's not the worst thing in the world. Yeah. Unless he knows it's all balls. I mean, maybe... Oh, that, imagine that. If she's going, you've right. got the biggest dick. Yeah, you've yeah. got a massive dick and you know deep down all that balls. it's tiny it's and balls. you've got the biggest all sack. Balls. Yeah, maybe. I get it now. I'm on his side. I, just I don't me. know. I'd still be happy. I think the only reason <laughs> I'd be annoyed is if there were like proper monsters who were like paving at me. I'd be like, well, you two can fuck off. The rest Pretty of it's privilege. Like, you two. Turn away. Just get a car to put it in front of their faces. I <laughs> me and Harry just turn around in the hot tub, not allowed to look anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Nah, I wouldn't be bothered about blokes looking because I'm straight, so I don't give a shit if blokes look. But I'm not having an ugly woman looking at me, bulge. <laughs> Pretty gay thing, to be honest. I'm straight, so I don't mind if men fuck me. Yeah, men can stare at me dick all they want, but an ugly woman, you know, <laughs> turn your eyes that way, madam. This is not for you. <laughs> anyway, let's try this. Uh... Next time he's going to come on the podcast with a t shirt that just says pussy is boss. <laughs> just talking the most masculine guest we've ever had. <laughs> if uh, if you're new to the podcast and you're watching because Adam's on, then thanks, we appreciate it. And we do a section at the end called Off Your Chest, where we invite the guest or a listener or anyone really to get something off their chest. So, Adam, have you got anything you want to get off your chest? Um, I don't know. <laughs> Pure dicks. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Chest. Have people done this in the past on past shows? Yeah, you've done it in the past. So, the, recently, we the, the last one was Cam said that he... Went into a shop and stole a packet of munchies to impress a girl. Uh, but I don't think you want to pull that so thread, off, off really. Your, um, off your chest can be like something <laughs> you, you want to... Huh? What do you mean? You know what I mean. I don't. Mate. What? I literally message you saying, don't fucking bring that up. We'll cut it, don't worry. Oh, yeah, that makes it fine, does it? For fuck's <laughs> sake. What? Do you know who's going to bring that up? Bring what up? Is this why you have brought me on? <laughs> Like fuck with me? No, I, I genuinely. That's I'd, what it feels like. You got I biscuits just, on too. Why the fuck did you bring? <laughs> I, I didn't think you'd be that thingy about it, mate. Don't well, worry. I was to fucking message you in advance and say don't reference it. <laughs> reference. That reference. has pissed me off. It's, it's and now we've got to do this Patreon episode, and I've got to sit here with you. Yeah, yeah I guess. And, yeah. and you'll love it. <laughs> no, I think I'll fuck off. <laughs> I, I, genuinely <laughs> fucking pissed off with that. Seriously? I literally all I said was just don't bring that up. That's the only thing I wanted. You still did it. Are you gonna walk back to Liverpool? Yeah, I'm gonna get the thing. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? So yeah, if you're a big fan of Adam, <laughs> what's his tag? He's gone. <laughs> Do you know what I'm re referencing? No, you're actually referencing something. Yeah. No, you're not. I thought I it was a bit. No, I swear to God. What? Callum Oakley mentioned to me recently he'd been stealing from people in green rooms. No. Gen no I'm genuinely serious. He stole from, uh, I can't remember who it was, um, but Callum told me last time I saw him. He's like, not really, he doesn't gig in Liverpool much anymore. You're chatting shit. I'm genuinely serious. I'm genuinely serious. Oh, really? Yeah, he doesn't gig in Liverpool anymore. He's like, it's a big, like, sore subject. He, he did message me, but I just said it, like, because he messaged me, I thought he'd just be... Do you want me to call him? I guess. Yeah. I right, turn it off. No, I mean, just fucking... I don't know. 
Oh, mate, I had no idea. Yeah, he's apparently he stole from somebody in the green room, and it's like a, he's like denies it, but it was only him in the green room, and the fucking like money out of her purse went missing. Genuinely serious. Oh shit! Yeah. I don't know what we do. No, well, we'll just have to. I think we leave doing a Patreon. Um, I can come back some other time this week. We'll record two because we need to get one ahead anyway. <sighs> we can wrap it up. I'll give him a call. Um, I mean, he seemed annoyed at you as well, to be fair. Yeah, no, but I had no idea. I thought it was a bit. Yeah, but good luck convincing him of that. Yeah. Should we ask him? Adam? Do you want to come in? Oh, you fucking rat. <laughs> <laughs> This is going out on April 1st. <laughs> Are you being fucking sick, mate? I shit a brick then. I felt so awkward. I like you, you twat. I don't anymore. Do you know what as well? He told me you fucked that. He told me that and I was like, I still want him to be me, mate. I'm going to call him and make sure he's all right. Fucking hell, man. Wow, that works a lot better than I thought it would. That was well done. <laughs> I didn't think you'd go for that. No, I well, didn't either. Is, it's too good for me to ask for it to be cut as well. I'm <laughs> Did you of really course go? He's I'm not being cut. Storm off that's now. The, that's the clip. Of course, yeah. he's not being cut. Jesus Christ. Did you really fall for it? Yeah. For a second. Yeah. Wow. Well done, both of us. Yeah, yeah I was it. like, I thought that was the, the front door, not the bog. Well, it was. Yeah, now he's door. looking at me like, you think that of me? <laughs> No, it's a, I had to piss on the yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just pissed on the hallway. Just pissed on the hallway. <laughs> Came back on my car. <laughs> uh, oh, uh, give us, uh, I almost turned it off and everything. He was telling me not you, to. You did say. Yeah, I know. I, knew, I, knew, I, knew, I am his phone now this, ready yeah. to call, yeah? I was like, oh, he's going to... I don't want him getting the train. Oh, lad. Uh, <laughs> oh, see, I said that as well. I said he might not want me to yeah. go back alone. I've never felt home. so simultaneously relieved and embarrassed you pieces of shit. And what is wrong with me that I think this is boss for the podcast, yeah. but I'm gutted at about how much of a bellend that I look. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everyone. Yeah, you were done over by stage school levels of acting. Fucking <laughs> 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 <Okay>, Aaron. <laughs> Um, I, thought, I was like, that's a bit, that. Plug your... Yeah, plug I did hear you say that. I did just, this is a bit. And then I heard you say something that seemed to convince you. That was fun. Um, that was worth the two hours that spent us on the phone figuring <laughs> yeah. out what to do. <laughs> uh, plug your social media and we'll wrap this up and then we'll do the okay. Patreon episode. Um, follow me on Instagram, um, at Rush of Laughter. Um, <laughs> and follow me on TikTok, uh, at Five Pence Change Podcast. Cheers, thank you. <laughs> You're such a dickhead. <laughs> Give us three things that you hate. In general, just that yeah. I hate. Just three things that you hate. Um, spiders, um, <laughs> war, <laughs> um, no pussy. <laughs> <laughs> so to sum up, pussies are boss and spiders are. <laughs> yeah. When Thanks there's no so pussy much, though, mate. I hate that. <laughs> <laughs> if you enjoyed this episode of Adam, we're about to record the Patreon episode, so get on that. It starts at three quid a month and, uh, and it'll be out on Thursday. The Thursday following, maybe? Who knows? I don't know. Um, but it'll be out. Get on the Patreon. Patreon.com forward slash off your chest cast. We appreciate it. Thanks so much for coming on. Thanks for having me. Yeah, no worries. <laughs>